Uh, guys, can we all be civil about this? Apparently we cannot. They have chosen to go the hard way. And I swear to god, this game sometimes can be so annoying. So annoying, it is fun. And the music, the music brings you home every single time. And I have to say, I have to say, the game sometimes just wants to... Uh, you know what? Let me just show you how many times I'm, I, I almost rage quit. I almost just threw my controller, not in my TV, because my TV is kind of like, you know, it's not like the, <laughs> the greatest TV, but it's, <laughs> I still need a TV to play, so. Sometimes, sometimes the game just goes, <sighs> you know what, let me just show you. There is that one mission, and it takes place in a cemetery, and you have weapons for days, and you have, for some reason, you know, you, you know at first you're fighting humans, and then all of a sudden, you have weapons. And you're like, wait, what is happening? So now, here's the thing, Revenants, most of them are slow. And the only thing you should be worried about is that when they come close to you, they will insta kill you. And some of them are very fast, like this guy right here, I'm going to, I'm going to call him a runner. So once every, I say once every, Three to four kills of regular regular revenants. You get that one runner, and if you miss, that's the thing. If you miss him, he's going to come close to you, and guess what? Instant dead. Well then, what's the challenge? Well, the challenge is that sometimes, like here, the guns just don't register. Like my my crossbow did nothing; just watch me die. And the resources, I mean, your ammo is limited which means that once you're done i'll say some weapons will give you four to five shots and after that you need to find another weapon this gun i'm holding in particular it's a one shot kill but you also have four to i think it's five shots and right there i just missed for reasons i don't know and sometimes it will happen with the runner and guess what you cannot miss with the runner sometimes you get an smg and or you uh, use your handgun but that's the same thing B uh, those you know those, those other weapons they they don't kill as fast then you turn around the corner and guess what the runner is waiting for you because you didn't have time to aim and even if you aimed by the time you press the button to shoot you're already dead i replay this mission probably 20 times I mean, not this, the whole mission, this section in particular, because it's the last one before the mission completely ends, and it was cancer, I do not, I don't know when the game started being uh, John Wick, and then all of a sudden, it's Resident Evil, I'm like, yeah, I hate the runners, I just, I just hate them, and this mission will surely go, it will surely make you rage. This next mission is straight up toxic. It is straight up toxic. I did not enjoy it. It was mostly just frustration. You know that one song of 741, you know, confusion, all I see, frustration surrounds me. E, I think, I think they foresaw the future and they saw that one part and they were like, we need to make a song about that because let me tell you something frustration is going to be all over you by the time you complete this mission so here's what i don't like about this one segment there is that obvious guy on his bike going in circles trying to run into you i mean to drive into you the only way to get rid of him is to have him drive into the wall or into other motorcycles here's where it gets annoying if you defeat him right but you you weren't done defeating everybody else sorry for my voice he's going to come back so he's going to come back relentlessly until you defeat everybody else that's the first part which annoys me the second part is that they have people with guns and not just handguns no 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 they had to give people shotguns and it's not like you right i would have liked if people you know with weapons in the game actually took the time to reload giving you time you know a safe 
moment to approach them but now they just shoot at you relentlessly and one guy with a gun is already so annoying with that one guy on his fucking motorcycle but guess what there are two guys with guns so you have to make a choice about who you want to tackle first the left guy with the gun or the, the, the guy up there with the gun either choice you make you're going to die because guess what the other guy will be shooting at you with that other guy running into you with the motorcycle uh, and guess what it's just they have two i mean two segments like that one so by the time you complete this one and you're like oh I don't want to do it again the game is like <laughs> too bad for you you're going to do it again what is this why why don't the guy on the motorcycle just dies once and that's it why can't we just draw the line right there no you have to do it twice three times four times until you defeat everybody else and that sucks that sucks both Remember what I just said about people having guns and just rel relentlessly shooting at you without giving you a single moment to breathe? Well, they thought it was a good idea to have you in this tiny place with three people with guns and two other guys holding a weapon. So here, more than ever, decision making is its all that matters. Let me tell you why. There are two guys with, um, I'll say, assault rifles and one guy with a sniper rifle. Now, the sniper rifle is most likely going to be a one shot if you don't have full health. But that guy, hopefully, that guy shoots at a rhythm which is fair. It's like once every five seconds. So if he misses the shot, you're good to go. But those other guys with the assault rifles they can shoot at you relentlessly at the same time so here the level starts right and you decide to go for one of them knowing that the other deal with the assault rifle might shoot at you might and the same applies to the guy who can one shot you with the sniper rifle and you have no proper way to you know to get rid of the guy with a weapon without I'll say stunning him first. So you have to eventually beat the shit out of them to be able to get the weapon away from them. And guess what happens while you're busy hitting some other dude? Yeah, they shoot at you relentlessly. They never stop until you die. And hey, 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 before you think this is not fair, like, you know what, it's fine. The other dudes, they also have weapons. And those guys, you can parry them and take the weapon, you know, the weapons out of their hands. Here's what annoys me. <laughs> Here's what annoys me. If you fail to first parry the attacks, they become unblockables, and you have to. They become they, they start glowing red, and then you you only the one thing you have to do is roll away. So basically, either you go for the guys with the weapon, holding the weapons, the knives and everything, you take them and then you, you take down the, those other dudes shooting at you, or you go for the dudes shooting at you and then risk getting stabbed in the back by the, the guys because you cannot, you cannot, you can no longer ferry what they do. And this is so, so, so frustrating. And I understand why in the game you can still score an S rank after a mission even if you die because in this game you you basically all you have to do to get S rank is maintain a combo and eventually you're going to come to this one mission where you're going to die relentlessly until you print into your brain that one one way to get rid of everybody safely and I don't, I, it, it is just pain in the ass. And I understand why they thought, you know what, we cannot expect people. We cannot expect people to go flawlessly. They can die, but as long as you have that combo meter, just, which you just keep going and going, you can still have S. And I'm like, thank you for this. But also, fuck you for this. You know that one moment when you're playing by yourself and then you start 
talking to your TV and pointing fingers. That's that's when you know you're about to lose it because of that one mission. You know, that mission by itself is not bad. But when you play all those other missions and then you play this one at 2 a.m. in the morning, you very, very, you are very close to losing it, right? It's like your sanity hangs in the balance. And this mission, honestly, is not hard, right? That's, 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 what, that's what I'm saying. This mission by itself is not hard. But have, after dealing with so many other bullshit, and then you come here and there is that one car, right? <laughs> and there is that one car with a guy with a machine gun and you have to juggle your way between cars because, well, he is shooting at you relentlessly. Also, because right now this is all about shooting relentlessly in this game and you have to shoot and the moment you hit the, the car, it doesn't even matter which part of the car you hit. If you hit anything, on any car you instantly die and it makes sense right except except they have to put like you have to pay attention to so many things at the same time like you have to pay attention not to hit the car there's also that marker on the ground and it took me some time to figure it out it took me some time to figure how exactly i was supposed to do this so the tail lights of any upcoming cars are going to you know shine red ish on top of the screen to let you know that you need to get out of the lane because guess what there is a car coming so that by itself is not too hard the, the hardest part is moving between the lanes with that other jeep you know shooting at you and trying to run into you so this is this 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 is this is, this is you know mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. i don't i don't like it right i don't like it and you no know, at the end of the day once you figure it out it's like oh oh it's not that bad it's not that bad but you have to get there first right and again by itself it's not too bad if you haven't played all the missions before you come here because if you did and you you will have to i, I would say you know what just take it slow right don't in, and just in case, before you play the game, I would advise ordering multiple controllers because chances are you're going to break one. <laughs> you're going to break one. But just hear me out. At the end of the day, this is a very fun game. And by the time I completed it, I was I had a great time. Next, despite all the bullshit, I had an amazing time. And I strongly recommend this game. But just be cautious, man.